everyone and welcome to the vlog so right now i just want to record down whatever that i'm doing here in the mid year of 2023 august right so this morning i was just very tired i have no idea why sometimes i wake up and i'm super happy and yesterday i actually went to bed a bit earlier but i have no idea why i'm just not as me as i would like so the good thing about having an ice bath you know at home we can use it anytime. The tip is to know that you are not your body and sometimes your body is just used to waking up with that stress, that cortisol and therefore your mind sort of just follow whatever the body wants to do. I've been listening to a bit more Joe Dispenza these days. I felt like, you know, his material have been calling out to me and I've read them before and I feel like, okay, yeah, it's much more of the same thing over and over again. But right now, I'm actually hearing it again with a new perspective. So always stay open to even books that you have read before. I sat into this ice bath for about 3 minutes at 7 degrees just to make sure that my animal body is not controlling my entire being. So I made myself sit there for 3 minutes. I felt much better after. Know that this is, you know, obviously not my first choice. I tried meditating and then my mind wouldn't shut up. So I decided that, okay, I'm just going to jump in because I need something that snapped me out of the system, snapped me out of that chain of thoughts. Very blessed, once again, that I do not have to show up to work right now. I can just control my environment whenever I want to. And so that is what I chose to do. And then I started recording a few videos on the course that I will be releasing. I'm trying to film as much as possible of the thoughts that I can think of right now because I know that in one year, in two years, it's going to be harder and harder for me to relate to sharing all this kind of trading information that to me are much more basic. I know that I have trouble organizing my thoughts. You know, the more and more that you learn, you feel like people would understand it. But the thing is, you kind of forget where you were before. So I'm just trying to record as much as possible right now. Today has been great. So far, it's only, I think, 11 a.m. I'm going to make myself another cup of coffee, work a bit more, and then I'll head to the gym in the afternoon. All right, and also from the last time, I actually talked about this Shila Jade that I'm taking. So this is the one that I've got for about three times already. I've finished most of them. I share it with Philip. So this is how it looks. This is their actually new packaging. Initially, they don't look like this. I'll be linking them down below for anyone who wants to try it out. So we just got them yesterday and Philip actually went cycling this morning. So he already said that the difference is huge. And to me, I feel that I was taking it right before I started recording all this video and I can tell you that I do feel a lot more alert, a lot more focused. And for him, you know, performance-wise, it also helps a lot. And all we take is actually quite a small amount of dose only. If you watch back to my older video, it's just tiny. And then you just put it underneath your tongue and everything else in life just somehow fall in place. And one more recommendation is this coffee. So we have been drinking this for a few months already. It smells amazing. We got it from Asylum Coffee House in Singapore. So every time you bring this container back, they actually give you like 10% off. So we have one more of the filtered one and this is espresso. This is my favorite coffee. It just smells so good. Sometimes you smell coffee and then you're just like really happy because it, it's like buttery, it's as if it's chocolate but it's just so so good. Mm. Another coffee that I really like for anyone who wants a reference to how good this is, right, is Aribiaka, the one with the percentage sign all over Singapore. It also smells amazing and it feels as though you're drinking chocolate. Anyone who likes that kind of coffee should try this one out.
So today I'm doing a little shoot for this speed boat kind of wakeboarding boat thing. <laughs> no idea but it's actually a charter service that is just about to start and they're just collecting like photos and all that to do their lookbook. So my face is full of some log, it's so fair. And I just wanted to show you guys that this is actually a really nice area in Singapore. Yeah, so this is Capo Bay. People who are living here are really near the marina. And so most of them, some of them, most of them have a boat. So Singapore are full of millionaires. Nice, babe! <laughs> 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 I'm boarding right beside you. I'm boarding right beside you. 